All right, so we're back home in San Francisco, but as you know, we've got all of these Legos, as you can see here, that you need to find a place to call home. So, thought about it, and I realized that with the current storage system that I have, it sorts the pieces well, but there's little space. And so I thought, why don't I have one entire bin, uh, per se, of just like a certain a couple of types of bricks that I use often. So for one bin, I'm going to have one by and two by bricks, as well as windows, doors, and any type of tile piece. So that will be for probably that middle bin right there. Uh, and then the top bin, maybe we could do a combination of plates. Plates might actually go in that bin I was telling you about. And then the top bin could just be a wide variety of things. What to think about it. So this is my somewhat organized pile. I can tell you the six or seven different types of pieces that you would find in this bin. Now... We're about to get a lot less organized. This is going to be called the everything else that bin. All right, so any pieces that don't belong in there, find their home here. And probably because there won't be enough space, this yellow bin will hold some as well. But, so pieces that don't belong, like there. And half of an Endorex, obviously. That was probably one of the weirder finds. Um, as well as this, this is a actual Lego car. I mean, there's metal in it, but it does indeed say the word Lego. So it might be like a Happy Meal toy. You push it down, and it, like that thing pops out right there. So just some unique pieces. So now anything that doesn't belong in those two categories, in these categories belongs in the everything else pile. All right, so we have done two bags so far, end of day one now, and we got a pretty good. Uh, so remember, this is plates, one buys, two buys, tiles, doors, windows. I think that, yeah, any type of plate, so. Except one by one dot. I think, for the most part. Uh, and then anything else pile. It's pretty small, as obviously. Um, but we've got bags that are assorted. So mostly no plates and bricks. So we've got two of those bags, as well as like a whole bag of castle pieces and translucent pieces. So it, I'm hoping this will be pretty even. But... We'll have we'll have to see. So I think that might be a at least a three day project. It's a lot of work, and I have to do more than just sort Legos. So in my life, because that would not be a good way to live. So till then. All right, day two of Lego sorting and storage. Let's get at it. Go two bags done today. Hopefully, we can get that a little bit more even. And bag we're doing nope. labeled it as bag four, even though yeah. So bag four, it's got a half built helicopter for police. It came with a crook side outset. So there's definitely pieces missing, but I mean, get the cockpit. All right, so you get that. And then we have mostly castle pieces as well as translucent pieces, as you can see right there. Beautiful translucent pieces. And because I'm pretty much pretty sure, except for like that piece, which is actually belongs here, I think every piece, or yeah, almost every piece at least, does not belong in that bottom, in that middle drawer. So it should go up there, filling that up a little bit more. So I four was a much much quicker bag than the first two bags that made this up. So. There we go, filled that guy up. Got this bag, this bag, this will be probably the fun bag. Many fingers, all that. Probably the longest. The five from Goodwill. And one bag there, and then over there. 
but our my article bag. So I might actually sell that. We don't care. Guys will never believe what I just found. An old bandana in a Lego piece. What? Nasty. All right, and we're back for another day. Day three. Here you go. We are going to get minifigure bag along with some other stuff, along with another assorted bag right there. And then we get to play with the Legos, which is gonna be fun. First thing we're gonna build, not in this video, next one probably, is we've got both Roadrunner and Wiley e. Coyote minifigures. And I also got some like castle pieces but it also came with a, I was confused between a merp and a lerp. New terminology to me. So, but I've got one of those and you can be like a little cliff where Wiley is dropping the uh, anchor or the anv anvil, that's the word, on him. But something happened. So that'll be a cool build coming up soon. But for now, so right, quick goes. update, day three, uh, bag, not a huge day in it, but, uh, as always, fake Legos. I mean, I can't even show you, wow. But yeah, there you go, all of those. So, a uh, couple unique pieces I found. One that was, uh, a good find. Sorry about the cold, uh, yeah. So I found a clamshell. It opens and closes, and inside, there's a one-by-one one stud for you to place something. Uh, and then, I found this piece. So, you might not know what it is, um, unless you had seen some of the piles. Some of the pieces that I had in the piles. So, if I had this piece, there's a color scheme from one specific set. That's not very common. I've also I've had this piece. And I also have Young Boba Fett. So when I saw this, I was like, this has got to be a part of Jango Fett's ship. Because that's the only color scheme I can think of when I see this. And this, I mean, this is, you know what this is. I mean, where else would you find a piece like this other than a set like that? And Boba Fett. Uh, Boba Fett when he was young, of course, only one set for that as well. So, might all be in here, I've, except except the Boba, except the Jango minifigure. So, there's that. That is exciting. It would be really cool if somehow there are enough pieces to rebuild the entire thing. I mean, could be. I mean, the main components I found already. So that's hopeful, but. But it keeps sorting. I just made a mistake. All right, so it's another day, day four. And I know, I only did one bag yesterday. Oh, that was a big one. Um, I was tired, but get back at it today. Do the best and final bag, other than that set I had. This bag I'm doing, mini figures, um, tropical pieces, and pieces for cards. So, most everything in here will go in the top bin. You can see it's fairly even, though there's still some more in here. So, we're able to even that out. Day five yeah. of storage is done. We finished everything. I know I just skipped today, but just had to get to finish everything up. So, right here, I've got collectible mini figures with a wall of fake Lego bricks by Lego Blocks, which divides them in two pieces for minifigures. Then you've got bag of complete minifigures. Assorted stuff. There's a horse that I got. Then you've got in here one by, two bys, tiles, wall pieces, any types of plates. I think that's it. Yep. And then up here you've got everything else. So all sorts of different things. And instructions and bags under here. Got my whole town up here. Uh, that's my 99 cent set right there. And over here, I put my minifig dispenser right there. Because 
spaces as it is. Then over here, you've got this yellow classic storage container. It has big bulky plates and there's just some flat plates, all the brick separators and some assorted pieces. And then this box over here just has some of my storage containers that I previously used. So um, I've learned my lesson. Unless you've got just an entire basement for Legos or whatever, you do not need to have meticulously storage items like I had. And so the way that I did have it, it was not very conducive because I could get a select piece, a select few pieces, but overall I didn't know where the rest of the pieces were. So this was a great way to learn and figure out. So this is the new and updated store. So what you guys think? Let me know if you have any. Recommendations, alright? See you soon.